Oh my god, it's a floating city. Alright, first of all, that's horrible camera work. Second of all, why would you videotape that and only get like five seconds? Third of all, that doesn't look anything like the city below. That doesn't make any freaking sense. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Then the surprises began. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Alright, I've been wanting to cover this video for a while, and I'm now finally getting to it. We're talking about the video of a mysterious cityscape in the clouds, hovering over a Chinese city, and it's gone viral a week or two ago. But don't worry, science is here with explanations for this startling video, which range from a secret NASA project, to an elaborate hoax, to an actual atmospheric phenomena. And to boost our credibility, we're going to begin at the nationalgeographic.com. I don't know how credible they are. The front page is a giant thing that says a diamond is forever. And, and diamonds aren't forever, man. You know. Experts hesitate to say the video is real. It looks almost too good. And nobody ever says that about NASA photographs. You know what I'm saying? That's funny. Says Peggy Lamonet an atmospheric scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado. Man, it's almost funnier if you imagine her totally stoned when she says it, and she's like, wow, yeah, man, it looks almost too good. Like a giant Sunday floating in the sky that you just want to spoon into your mouth and watch the hot chocolate drip. Whatever. Okay, I went a little crazy on that one. But if it's real, it's definitely aliens. Wait, but if it's real, it's definitely aliens. Crap. Okay, brain? But if it's real, it's called a superior mirage, which just means it's an upward projecting mirage. Yeah, okay, totally. There you go, guys. China's floating city has been solved. It's just an upward projecting mirage. Nothing to see here. Move along. Get back to worrying about ISIS shooting you in the face while you eat your Cheerios with sugar, but not too much because sugar is bad for you. It's almost like poison. It could be something called a Fata Morgana. Like Morgana Le Fay? That can't be good. She says, which is a certain kind of atmospheric mirage. I've dated women that were kind of like mirages. You know what I'm saying? That is neither here nor there. To get a Fata Morgana, you need cold, dense air near the ground with a layer of warmer air above it, Coleman says. This is called a temperature inversion. Since it's the reverse of what usually happens in the atmosphere, they usually occur over large bodies of water since the air tends to be relatively cooler close to an ocean or lake surface, but can form over land too. What about aliens? Man, why didn't for one second you think it's like aliens or like it could be an alternate or it could be an alternate universe blipping in and out, you know, somewhere near Back to the Future Day, um, top secret Hail Hydra project, you know. I mean, why do you have to think if it's real, it has to be the one thing? There are other alternatives in this universe. We don't understand everything, and especially the general public. We don't really understand anything. You feel me? You see, this kind of layering will bend light rays as they pass from one air mass into the next. Those light rays are bent in such a way that our brains are tricked into thinking an object is higher than it really is. Oh, so that kind of layering tricked the brain of the video camera and the camera, right? That's what you're talking about here? I get it. Since it's like a smartphone and a smart camera, then its brain got tricked. Sweet. God, science, I love you. Come here and let me shove my finger in some place that makes you feel good. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to need a come down period for getting my microphone back. And since a person's perspective can alter the appearance of a Fata Morgana, the further away from an object a person is, the taller the object will appear, says Coleman. That's likely why in the video, the city looked like it was floating on a cloud. That's why in the video, the city looked like it was floating. That's why in the video, the city looked like it was floating on a cloud nine. That's likely why in the video, the city looked like it was floating on cloud nine. It would probably have looked very different to someone standing in the center of the city. You mean the floating city? Yeah, I'm sure if you were standing in the middle of the floating city, the floating city would have looked totally different. Finally, something me and you agree on, lady. Can we stop talking about freaking Fata Morgana Le LeVay? You know, like... Oh, wow, was Anton LaVey of the bloodline of Morgana Le Fay? Who knows? Magic is crazy. A Fata Morgana is why people can sometimes see ships flying through the sky or a wall of water dominating the horizon. In fact, this type of mirage could be how the myth of the Flying Dutchman, a ghost ship that sails the high seas, 
got its start. And according to historian Tim Maltin, a Fata Morgana could have contributed to the sinking of the Titanic. Coleman looked at atmospheric conditions over Zhejiang and Foshan, China, during the time the video was supposedly shot. They did have temperature inversions going on during that time period, she says, and some of the buildings in the city below the clouds look similar to what shows up in the sky. So Coleman thinks the video could be real, but fake. So Coleman thinks the video could be real, but a mirage that fooled the camera's brain. See where we're at? Can someone call Phil Plate? He'll say it was ice crystals. Phil Plate says ice crystal. Sweet. Thanks, Phil. Fata Morganas can be quite common in certain parts of the world, as long as conditions are right, says Le Monet. Le Money. Okay, now I get it. Le Money's saying yeah. Le Money's on mirages. Money is a mirage, really. That we agree on. And when I say we agree, I'm talking to myself. They're common in polar regions, says Teresa Wilson, but what isn't common in polar regions are people, you know, so how do you know they're common in polar regions? That chick is a graduate student somewhere, I don't even want to read that sentence. And she said that crap in an email, but they can happen anywhere. People have seen Fata Morgana in the Strait of Messina between Italy and Sicily. La Money hasn't ever seen one in person, but she's still an expert. And the reverse, a reflection of the sky on the road, plenty of the times. Let me read that sentence again. The money has never seen one in person, but she's seen the reverse, a reflection of the sky on the road plenty of times. That kind of mirage is known as an inferior mirage because the light rays bend in such a way that our brain thinks an object is lower than it actually is. <sighs> you can see some pretty cool things in the atmosphere. You just have to watch for them. All right, I haven't actually watched the video. Let's do that. You say, hey, buddy. All right, here we go. I'm now doing my due diligence and actually watching the video, which I think is pretty important. What? What the fudge nipples? Whoa, I don't know if you know that. It's true. Oh, yeah, that, that fucking doesn't help. I need to be connected to the internet, probably. Internet, why are you fucking with me? Let's try this again. Sweet. You playing shit? What the fuck, nipples? Oh my god, it's a floating city. All right, first of all, that's horrible camera work. Second of all, why would you videotape that and only get like five seconds? Third of all, that doesn't look anything like the city below. That doesn't make any freaking sense.